Hi there, welcome to the tutorial on character creation and customization. Let's start off in stage mode, which is the regular mode where all your animation takes place. Here you can perform simple edits on your character by replacing the head and the body. As you can see, I'm replacing simply by double clicking in the content manager to the right. This character has an animation programmed already. If I play that and then replace any part of my character's body, the animation command will remain intact and play again despite the change. That's about all the changes you can do in basic mode. Let's enter the character composer to see how we can do more detailed modifications by selecting the character composer on the top of your left toolbar. Now we're in composer mode. As you can see, there are more detailed replacement categories at the top. In the head section, you can edit every single element of the head, such as nose and eyes. In the body section, you can do the same for any part of the body. The prop section contains items such as glasses and facial hair. You can get these with the facial components power pack or else create your own. I'm going to swap out the head of my character first. Now I can go into further detail on the head. I'm going to swap out the eyes, the nose, the mouth simply by double clicking from the content manager. I'm going to do something a little different with the hair. If I select the back part then click on the sprite editor, I can then rotate it and resize it to give my character a whole new hairstyle using the same hair sprite. I'll just use the easiest way to change the body by swapping out the upper and lower parts. In some cases, because not all characters have the same height and proportions, you'll have to reposition the parts. Now when I swap out the shoes, you'll see that they'll now appear over the socks. To change its z-depth position, I can just go over to the scene manager and click on the down arrow to bring it down. I'll do the same thing with the other foot and reposition them both. You can even swap out your character's hands as well. Next, I'll go into changing colors on my character. If I select the hair, I can change different elements of my character's hair, but as you can see, only this section is being affected. If I select the Affect All button, then the hair elements will change at the same time. I can also change the reflection and outline color of my character's hair by selecting them from the drop down menu. I can do the same thing with my character's skin. I'll leave the Effect All box selected, and then adjust the brightness and saturation to give my character's skin a nice dark color. One more thing I can customize is to add props to my character. I'm going to import in a pink headband. I'll use the same techniques I mentioned earlier to resize and reposition it on the Z-Depth plane. I can then do the same thing for the glasses. There are many other props I can add to my character, such as wrinkles to make it look older. For now though, I'll just exit the character composer and update my character to the stage. As you can see, my character has now totally changed, yet maintains the same animation actions as the previous one. If I want to save my character for later use, I need to go to the Actors section and then select Custom in my Content Manager. Then, if I press the Add button, it will prompt me to enter in the name. I'll do that and press Enter. Now when I start a new project, I can import in the same character by simply double-clicking on it. You can also import your files in almost any format to replace parts on your character. If I open up the Sprite Editor, I can select the Insert button at the bottom. I'll select this PNG of a robot arm and close. Now I need to reposition and resize it just like I did with the hair. When I'm done that, I can update to the stage. As you can see, the sprite goes along well with any applied animation. I can also customize image based characters. Here I have a body from the common folks content pack that needs a head. I'll just import in one of those and resize it to give it a more cartoonish look. The skin is a bit too pasty compared to the body, so I'll once more go into the color editor to fix that. 
To make edits to the face of an image based character, you can go into the face fitting feature on the left toolbar. Here I can do the basic facial fittings you're familiar with from Crazy Talk 6. I can also go in and change my character's teeth. Once I've found a better color, I'll move on to the eyes. Each image based character contains its natural eyes, but you can also replace those if you think yours look better. In this case, the natural ones probably look better, so I'll just stay with those. After I've updated my character to the stage, I can apply a body and facial animation. And there you have it. It's as easy as that to customize both your image and vector-based characters.